So last time, we went over the light side of Baby Yoda. And now, it's time to turn to the dark side. And I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, as always, the model will be, be in the description if you want to print this out, support the creator of this. I do not complain any membership of this. And thank you guys and enjoy the video. Okay, so we have the uh, uh, Darth Vader model right here. And so what we're going to do is that we're going to, um, what we're going to do is that we are going to take, like last time, we take our acrylic, we unscrew it, we put a bit in, we're actually going to need a lot more this time. And then re screw it on. And then we're going to need to take a brush, um, the brush from last time, remember? Crinkle it up. And then we take a bit of it and then we start painting. Okay, now that we've done the head, this is the tricky part. We'll put the head down on here. And then, you see these points, black points right here? Those are burn marks from soldering. So, you have to use your black to actually cover these up so that then they can't be seen.
that's noticeably not like recognizable. You can't see the eye. So what we're gonna do for the eyes is that we're actually gonna wait for this to dry while we're doing the rest of it. We're gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna show you how to mix acrylics so that then you can uh, make other colors. Like for example, gray. That is very hard to see those eyes, yeah. I'm gonna change those to gray. So this is one of the benefits of um of painting with white is that um well black actually. It's a benefit of black or like monotone colors is if you do like the mass one and like the ones that have like the curvy insets are the uh the color you use as a base then you can actually get a better, um, you can get more detail in because of the fact that um, you A, don't have to spend money on colors that you don't. On that many colors. And B, you don't have to spend as much time like what we are doing here. So this is where, because of the fact that uh, this is this brush is too large, I'm gonna start using the smaller brush, the finer tooth brush, finer comb, finer tooth, same difference. <laughs> Okay, 
So that's the head. Now it's time to go over everything else. So thankfully, this is actually quite easy uh, because we have a large brushing surface. So now we can just do this. Okay, now children, um, how you take a, um, how you make a, um, gray acrylic is that you take white acrylic, squeeze it out, take black acrylic, You may not be able to see the white acrylic. There, that should help you. Squeeze it right there. Then take a brush. And then mix them together. So that then you have the correct ratio. So here, I have gray paint. Thanks to the fact that I, I did just the correct ratio. So now I can go to the eyes. And now I can apply gray. So here I need to add a bit more white because otherwise it's undistinguishable. So you add more white. I don't want to get the end there. You don't want to touch the end of the cap to the black paint, otherwise that then you'll always be screwy. You'll ruin your um, your paint, and these things.
Okay, we're done. Okay, so after many long painted fingers and a um, a Darth Vader has been made. And that was the video guys. Here's the uh, model. Here's the model of Darth Vader as well. Uh, there's the gray box, gray eyes. Um, I know that some models will have like a gray area. I didn't feel like that. And there's also supposed to be green and green, but I don't have a fine tooth. But as always, please like and, please like and comment down below if you want what other models I should try printing, who else I should try printing and coloring. I do have an intent for trying to do an Iron Man. I won't show the model uh, because it's still in the works. Um, but as always, and I will always be linking down these models, it may take a bit of time because I have to make sure that I'm actually citing it correctly. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.